welcome along to our roundup of the 16th day in France. The leaders lance at home against Bastia Auxerre with a tricky trip to Sosho. And as for Lyon, they're away at Montpellier. Big game, Monaco against Lille. And we start at the Stade Louis Dur, just two and a half thousand spectators. Didier Deschamps deciding to gamble. Good home form for Monaco. Not so good away, but three strikers, Shavani Nonda, Dado Pirso and Oliver Bierhoff and the opening chance falling to the big German Bierhoff. Three goals in seven starts before tonight. And his coach has told him he, like the rest of the side, needs to do better. Now super run. And effort from Kubilier. Well stopped by Gregory Vambe, this excellent Lille goalkeeper. Away by Pichot. Bakary recently returned to the side, always the target for Lille. No foul given by Alain Sars and Jeggy Bakary with the chance, which he takes. Lille leading by a goal to nil after 18 minutes at the Stade Louis Duck. Bakary's fifth goal of the season. Lille, the second best defense in France, and once they take a lead, they're always likely to protect it. Valid Halihontis deciding to play a 5 4 1 formation here with Bakary, of course, as the one. Londra. Good spell. Lille really dominated the first half here, and Bruno Cheru so nearly made it too. But those white boots of his let him down. A very slippy surface. See, he's well set and just loses his footing at the crucial time. Bierhoff trying to start the counter-attack. Aimed at Shabani Nonda. But a comfortable for Van Bick. Monica really struggling to get any of the ball at all here. Lille were really dominant. The chance though from the free kick, well saved by Van Bay, but could only divert it into the path of Bierhoff. His fourth goal in eight starts for Monaco. Two minutes before half-time as well. It really lifted the home side just before the break. Van Bay always elects to punch, and it let him down there a little bit. Ali Hosic furious with his defenders. And the second half, well, it was a different game entirely. Monaco it was who were dominant, and only a matter of time it seemed before they took the lead. Great header that from Bierhoff. And a really good stop from Van Beek. Lille's away form is starting to desert them. Just one win away this season. Seven out of seven at home has kept them in contention. Pichot encouraged to get forward again and nearly caught Roma off his line there. Very intelligent from the right back. Spread wide. And the shot driven in by Kubilier. And then the run here from Dardo Pirchuk having switched to the left hand side Alan Sars right on top of it the foul was by Silvan Undia Pirso the Croatian winning the penalty kick and he does catch it the good spot from the referee Wambe psyching himself up Nonda with the spot kick Eight goals for the season for Shabani Nonda. Didier Deschamps risk of playing the three up front, seemingly starting to pay off here. The Scram, though, has fond memories for Lille. Last season, they won here to qualify for the Champions League. Last day of the season, that was, as Sheru drove it in. It was he who scored the goal as well. Took them to the Champions League, of course, since they've uh, gone into the UEFA Cup. An excellent win away at Fiorentina last week. Now Pichot, fouled by Rule. He says he got the ball, but when you see it again, it's a good decision by Alain Sars. He got a little bit of the ball, but went right through the player. Penalty kick, Bruno Sheru. 
And he's still got some memories of the Stade Louis de. The equaliser, 18 minutes from time. That was just about the end of the game. An excellent entertaining one as well. No more chances of note. And the final score, both sides relatively happy. Monaco to Lille to Cheru once more at the Stade Louis de. Well, the problem here for Lyon, in such good form with three consecutive wins in Le Championnat, although that 4-1 defeat in Bruges against Club Brugge So inconsistent sometimes, Lyon. And the problem here was the start of either half. Ed Nielsen with the foul. 49 seconds gone, and the header from Abdoulaye Sissé. Remember, he scored against Gangon. Jibril Sissé is taking all the headlines, but Abdoulaye Sissé making it 1-0 after 49 seconds. A real shock for Lyon, the top scorers in the championnat with 31 goals. It's erratic form could cost them the championship because they are rightly the favourites for it. Again, allowed Montpellier to take control. Carotti with the header. Always a danger with the corner kicks. Again, it was Karate. This time away by Legler. Look, Santini, so frustrated by this up and down form of his side. Loyan Dula with a great chance. Anderson wanted it in the middle. Furious with the young striker. Saved by Rodney Ryu. Having a bit of a cult figure in the Montpellier goal. Cissé nearly making it to that. The start of the second half, remember, 49 seconds at the start of the first. And just watch this again from Montpellier. Helped on to Mao Lida. Unbelievable. Inside the first minute of the second half, Leon falling asleep at the kickoff again. Coupe got a hand, but not enough. Montpellier taking a 2 0 lead. Leon having to push men forward now. Forward by Carrier. Another chance for Peggy Loyendula. Another top save from Rodney Ryu. All about his speed in getting out to meet the danger. <laughs> Leading them forward on the charge was Mao Leader again. Ball in from Sola. Mao Leader very close to a second. That was his fifth of the season, by the way, the strike at the start of the second half. And he was in the middle here, but this youngster didn't need him. What a good goal that was for Bamoga. First goal in Division 1 for the 19-year-old Bamoga. Lyon's biggest defeat of the season on the cards here. Super finish from the youngster as well. Couldn't have been better. What a win for Montpellier. Michel Messi, the coach, described it as a victory for teamwork over individualism. Well, Lens had every chance before tonight of being champions of the autumn. That's the team that gets the most points from the first round of fixtures before they start to be repeated. So exactly halfway through the season. And a win here would make sure of that. Bastia had lost seven of the last nine. The out-of-form side in Division One, And Lens just took them apart here. Great work from El Hadji Diouf. Taunting and teasing and earning the corner of Degaville. Only one win here in 24 years for Bastia. And watch this from Penito, the young keeper. The 20-year-old with the punch and the goal given by the assistant. Ferreira, that looked like a shove on the referee. And he was lucky to get away with that, just a yellow card for Demetrius Ferreira, but Penito under pressure, no foul. It's a good decision, it's definitely over the line there, no question.
Lance leading by a goal to nil, an own goal to nil from the keeper after six minutes. Lance had won this game 4-0 last season. Lashaw with the cross for Pedro. That's his second of the season. The first, that great goal at Paris Saint-Germain. And another for Stefan Pedro. He had a great game here. 2-0 on 18 minutes. This time, no chance for Penito. Not too many people took Lance seriously at the start of the season, but they haven't fallen away, and you have to take them seriously now. Verrell with a chance at the other end. Former Lance player who scored a hat-trick for Lance against Bastia in their championship season. Now on the receiving end. Ball forward now for Moreira. Eight goals this season. And a great challenge by Degerville. Did really well to get back there, Degerville. He was pretty much a one-man defence. Given away by Estien. Poor control in the midfield. Pedro. Moreira timing his run. A hint of offside, perhaps, but a great finish past Penito. It's nine for the season now for Daniel Moreira. You don't really get the best angle to see the offside, but what a good goal anyway. Then that challenge by Ferreira on Diou. A red card. Having already shoved the referee. Ferreira, who was on the receiving end of Alan Roche's headbutt at the weekend, for which Roche received the red card. Swings and roundabouts once again. Well, they wanted six in the second half. Could Lance get there? Do you breaking forward? Foul. Suma. And he's complaining, but wait till you see the replay. Unquestionably a foul. The Senegalese international getting up to take the penalty and making it four. Turning into a famous night of the Felix Bollard for Lance. Lovely penalty. That came on 56 minutes and then Valerian Ismail with a towering header. Getting his fourth of the season just like to you. Does pop up with some important goals. And that was 5-0. There was still time for more. Still time for Bastia to at least get some sort of consolation. The ball forward here. To Moreira. Followed in by Sacco. That means Sacco desperate to get on the score sheet. is defending absolutely dreadful Sacco having the shot Penito with a good save that was deflected through onto him as well and he's just furious with his defenders then another Johan Lashaw 13 minutes from time at the stadium enjoying himself it was just time for some more believe it or not another foul again it was Suma and another penalty this time Sacco brought down Antoine Sibierski scored a penalty in a cup final in the last minute for Nantes against Calais scoring one here for Lens Sibierski making it 7-0 for Lance, his first goal of the season. And Lance made sure that they are the champions of the autumn in France. Bastia beaten in eight of their last ten games, slipping down the table. Great win for Lance.